Hey guys, it's Ella and welcome back to my kitchen. So, continuing the theme of Studio Ghibli dishes, today I am making the congee, 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 don't know, uh, from Princess Mononoke. Um, I don't have anything ready, so I'm just gonna jump in and do everything all at once and work on Disney. All right, let's cook. Okay, cool. So the first thing that we've got to do is make dashi stuff. Same thing from last time, except I put it in a jar. And what I need to do is mix that dashi with two cups of water. I'm going to use one of these. It's a bit smaller than my other cup, but you know, it'll do. How much dashi do I need? Oh, I don't know. So I'm a genius and I didn't write down how much dashi I need. So I'm just going to assume it's the same amount that I put in my previous dish. All right, so I'm gonna guess that it's one teaspoon. I feel like this is kind of the make or break of this dish and I'm already like, no clue what it is. One teaspoon. So there we go, one in there. Add my water. And that's just going straight in the pot. So if you wanted to see what I just did, um, boom. Okay, so what I've got here is just a ginger root and it's nice and fresh, nice and big. And what I'm gonna do is just break off two pieces. All right, I'll break off the third piece. Okay, cool. <laughs> My three pieces. So I'm gonna take the biggest, most, Terrible knife I have, actually. I hate this knife. Um, and crush them. Yay. All right, please don't chop your fingers off when you do this, like I do, almost did. Okay, cool. So there is my ginger. I'm just gonna take it and throw it in there and leave that to heat for a while. Cool, so that's heating for a little bit. And the next thing I need to do is rice. Here it is. Basically what the congee is, is a rice porridge. I've never actually had rice porridge and I don't know if I'm doing anything correctly at any point, so forgive me. So now I'm going to add my rice. It's just normal white grain rice, you know. The recipe said to add one third of a, you know I actually have a measuring cup now and I'm doing it in this, which is like super inaccurate. <laughs> Oh well. So it's about one third of a cup. Yeah, it's about a third. What do you think? Is that about a third? Can you even see it? Probably not. Right, so we rinse that off and add it to our pot. All right, so there you go. Whoa. So I've just thrown the rice in there with my ginger and dashi. And now it's going to get to the boil again. And once it's at the boil, cover it and simmer it for 20 minutes. I will sit around for 20 minutes and I will check up on you later. Okay, cool. So 20 minutes is up. It's still on the stove top. And I'm gonna do the next thing. So I've gotta get into my fridge. You'll remember my, uh, my soybean paste from the last time. It's wrapped up like this because it smells really bad. It was making even the water in my fridge taste like Soybean paste. There's my my rice. It's looking pretty good. And what I've got to do now is take out the ginger. Oops. So I'm just going to put that back over there. Whoa. Okay, cool. So now that the ginger is out, I'm grabbing my bowl. Get a good amount of rice out. Nice big tablespoon. And mix it in there until it's nice and smooth. Except for the fact that, you know, there's actual bean bits. It's good enough. You just dump that all back in there. I'm gonna stir it up. Okay, cool. So, um, now that that's done, 
what I'm going to do is add a beaten egg. Okay, so I just rinsed out the same bowl that I was using earlier because I don't like doing dishes. Grab that sweet egg, crack it. Yay, all right, there we go. Egg. Grab a fork and just do, 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 do. Yeah, we just add that in a little bit. Give it a stir. Cool, add the next bit in. All right, awesome. We just stir up the dinner. I'm excited. The recipe I said I followed did say you can throw in some healthy green leaves and I do have baby spinach in my fridge, but I'm gonna try it as it is. Here I am with my rice porridge <laughs> and I'm pretty excited to taste it. I mean, it's probably gonna taste pretty similar to um, the ramen because it's using all the same flavors and I didn't add anything fancy to it. Um, but still, I'm really excited. I'm enjoying making new dishes and also the recipe that I chose is like the least complicated recipe to make this. Um, super simple. Um, very similar to the other one and there were like way more complicated recipes to make rice porridge so I just decided to go with the most simple one and let's see see if I can taste like ginger right here we go cheers It tastes pretty much the same. I'm not surprised because it's the same flavors that I used in um, the ramen dish. Still good. <laughs> Still easy to make, easy as pie. And like you can just barely taste the ginger. So, I mean, it might've been, I probably would've liked it a bit better if I'd thrown in some ginger powder, um, some you know, crushed ginger crushed powdered ginger <laughs> rather than just the ginger like the actual ginger I mean like the actual ginger maybe I should have put more in maybe I just didn't put enough in um I thought I did but I didn't um but yeah because you can't really taste that it's very subtle um but otherwise yeah it was really good easy meal delicious and there's plenty for a second helping <laughs> all right but anyway I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my meal and Thank you guys for tagging along. Thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like, drop a comment down in the section below and subscribe if you would like to see more of these videos. All right, have a great, great evening. It's evening now. All right, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.